Not a, it's a, not a scam. It's a legend call. Social Security Administration, how can I direct your call? Uh, I don't know. I just got a voicemail to call this number. It didn't say who to call. No problem, sir. This is Social Security Administration. Can you please help me with your case ID? Uh, I didn't get a case ID. I didn't hear one. No problem. No uh -oh. problem. Can you, please, any, uh, uh, can you please identify yourself, who am I speaking to, so I can let you know what's your case ID and what's going on? Yes. First name is Mike, M-I-K-E. Last name uh -huh. Litt, L I T T, Mike Litt. Mike Litt. Just give me a Can you please also verify your five digit zip code? 13118. 13118. And where do you reside right now, sir? At my house here. No, in which state? Oh, New York. It's in New York. No problem. Just give me a quick moment. You verified yourself. Just give me a quick moment. I'm okay. looking up to your case. All right. All right, Mr. Litt, I got your details. I can see there was a recorded message left on your phone number to notify you about your social security number being found suspicious for criminal activities in the state of Texas due to some legal enforcement actions. So, did you receive any call from local sheriff department? No. Why, I, no, I don't know why they call me. No, no, no problem. I'll provide you all the required information, but before I go ahead, I want you to take a pen and a piece of paper so I can make a note of your case ID number and your warrant ID number. Tell me once you're ready with a pen and a piece of paper, okay? Okay, go ahead here. Okay. First of all, write down my name. My name is Officer Jake Watson. Jake Watson, okay. Now, write down my federal batch ID, which is SSA0852. Okay. Okay. Now write down your case ID, which is DC7010. Okay. DC7010. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I got it. Can you, can you just read back the information to me, just to confirm that you got it right? Jake Watson, SSA0852, DC7010. Yeah, I got it. All right. Before I go ahead and provide you more details, I would like to update you that the lines on which we are talking right now are being federally recorded and monitored by Social Security Administration as well as Department of Justice. So make sure you do not interrupt while I'm passing out the information. Once I'm done giving you all the information, I'm going to give you a fair chance to speak and raise your questions. Am I clear? Are you clear? I don't know. I told you this line is being recorded by Department of Justice. Uh -huh. So make sure you do not interrupt while I'm passing out the case to you. Once I'm done giving you all the information regarding your case, I'm going to give you a fair chance to speak and raise your questions. Okay? Okay. So at present, your social has been found suspicious for criminal activities in the state of Texas. An investigation started under your name and your social security number when we recovered an abandoned car on the south border of Texas. The I'm in New York. Model of the car is... I'm, I'm in New York. No, I, highly, I will highly appreciate if you do not interrupt. Well, you're I'm just well you said Texas. Car. I'm in New York, I told you. Yeah, I said Texas. Just let me complete my myself. Okay, After complete that, I'm yourself, you but I'm not in Texas. Oh, boy. No problem. Problem, no problem. Okay, Let go me ahead. complete myself. Okay, complete yourself. Federally okay. After the local sheriff department investigated the car, they found some drug residues inside the car. During the investigation, they also found out that the car was rented under your name and your social security. And there are two addresses linked with the title of this vehicle. The first address is 39 Harvey Street, San Antonio, Texas, 78230. The second address is 11010 Harmony Hill and Wallet, Texas, 75088. Do you recognize any of these addresses? Just yes or no? I'm in New York. No, I don't recognize those addresses. To update you, sir, that both the addresses that I mentioned above were already rated by State Rangers Division and they U.S. Did. Marshals. Okay. Yes. But there was no one at the residence, oh. but they recovered consignment containing 22 pounds of cocaine, oh. which is a highly abusive drug. Yeah. They also found some paper 
documentations which relate to banking institutions such as Chase Bank, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, TD Bank and US Bank. TD Bank, that's my bank. bank. Exactly. Yeah. When we verified all the bank accounts, they were all under your name and your social security well, number. I only got now one bank question, account. I don't have all of them. Now the question arises, when we were investigating this banking statement yeah. with the respective financial institutes, we found that more than thousands of dollars has been wired from this account locally and internationally to the countries like Colombia and New Mexico. New Which Mexico? Totally suspicious. Yes. The country of New so Mexico? Yes, I yes. never, I wouldn't wire money to the country of New Mexico. No. no problem. In fact, I don't even so know how to wire yes. money. I don't know how to wire money. We have got this action charged against you for the felony, which is money laundering and drug trafficking. Now, once I'm done with this notification call, your case will be forwarded to the courthouse and FBI headquarters. Now, if you want to say something to justify yourself, you can let me know over this recorded phone call. So, if you want to say something in your defense, you can go ahead and say it right now. My defense is, I'm in New York. I don't know anything about Texas. I didn't run a car. I never been to the country of New Mexico. I, I don't know what you're talking about. That's my defense. Have you ever been to, you have never been to the state of Texas in the past? Texas? No. Well, what the hell will they go to Texas for? All there is is cows and no trees and shit. I don't know what's down there. No problem. I'm in New York. I'm, I'm have in you New ever, York. Have, I'm in New York. Have you ever lost your wallet or your phone? Have you ever lost your wallet or your phone, sir? I lost my wallet once. And did you report it to the police station? Nah. They, were, they weren't going to look for it, that, that, so why report it, I figured. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So as now you are appealing me on this federal recorded line that the information we have under your name does not belong to you, right? Right, it does not belong to me. Yeah, that means there is a possibility that someone has access to your personal information and you are the victim of identification theft. I bet you I know am. what is identification yeah, theft? Yeah, I know what it is, and I bet you're right. That's what happened. Somebody stole my identity. So, do you recall someone trying to seek your personal information, sir? Gee, uh, I can't think of anybody offhand. I don't know. The girl down the okay. street Have was asking me questions. Cross-eyed Mary, but I never told her nothing. I think she... I don't think she'd do it, though. Okay. Have you ever used your social security card in public place or over internet for any kind of loan purpose or something else? No. No. Have you been receiving any kind of phone calls from IRS or loan companies or any bank? The IRS called. Offer you the I, card? Yeah, the IRS called exactly. me. They said that I owed okay. taxes and I had a miscalculation. But I didn't know what they meant. No problem. Okay, sir, now let me tell you, sir, as you are appealing me that you're not the one who has any connection with money laundering and no, drug trafficking, I, I have to give you a fair chance. Yeah, I have to give you a fair chance okay. to prove that you are innocent and have How no do connection to drug trafficking and drug trafficking. How do I prove myself not case, guilty? I don't know how to do that. Sir, let me tell you. Don't what you have you to can prove do, me guilty? Do. I, I, I think you got it backwards. Exactly. Yes. In that case, I have to record your statements, okay? I have to record your statements and take it as a declaration form. Do you know what is as a declaration form? Let me tell you. Okay, tell okay? me. Let me tell you. Yes, because I don't know what it is. Right now, yeah, right now, we have got multiple information and multiple banking accounts under your name. Okay? okay, and we don't know which account belongs to you, which information belongs to you, and which information and which account is created by the imposter. Okay, just to segregate okay, so which account belongs to you, I need your asset verification form. Okay. Once I fill your asset verification form, sir, each and everything connected to your social, which you verified, will be safeguarded. Okay. Rest everything which that is sounds, created that by the imposter. Right. Yeah, okay, let's yeah. do that. Exactly. Okay, yeah, exactly. I'm ready. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so now first of all, sir, you need to tell me your full name loud and clear. Mike Litt. Mike Litt. Mike Litt. Your last Litt. name is L-I-T-T. L-I-T-T, first name Mike. Mike yeah. Litt. Litt. There is no middle initial in your name, right? F as in Frank. I got Mike it, Mike Frank And how many... Litt. 
Uh, how many addresses are listed under your name, sir? One. I li have one address. I'm trying to speak clearly. Uh, one address. Okay. Can you s confirm your full address over this recorded call? Yes. My full address is 100 Main Street, Moravia, uh -huh. New York, 13118. Just give me a quick moment. Let me just verify okay. your address, sir. Okay. Well, that's my address. You don't have to verify it. That's where I am. Yeah. Okay. I got it. Okay. I got it. Okay, this is the only address registered under your name, right? Well, how many addresses would I have? No, I got one address. Yeah, because let me tell you, sir, right now we have seven addresses listed under your name. What the okay? hell would I do with so seven addresses? Go, I got one address. I live in one is, house. Yeah. Yeah, that is created by the imposter. Oh, those imposters. That's the only reason I need your... Uh, okay. So, sir, you tell me now, do you have a driving license? Yes, of course I do. And what class of driving license do you have? Class A, Class B, or Class C? I got an M and a C. Okay, you got C. How many cars do you have, sir? One. One. And what's the make and model of the car? 2017 Hibachi. Hibachi. Right. Yes, Got it. it's a hot car. Yeah, do you have a passport, sir? A passport? No, I don't need one because uh -huh. the only country I go to is Canada. I go to Canada. And you don't need passport. I don't need a passport, need passport because passport we're neighbors. Canada, we're right. neighbors. We're yeah, friendly right. neighbors with Canada. Yeah, that's right. Too nice yeah, people. Do you have a health insurance, sir? Do I have a what? Health insurance. Health I got Medicare. Ah, uh, health insurance. Medicare. Yeah, Medicare. Do you have any medical? Yeah, you have, you got Medicare, right? A Medicare. Yeah, I'm old. I'm 70. I got Medicare. Okay. No problem, sir. And how many financial institutes or banks are you dealing with? One. And what's the name of the bank, sir? TD Bank, like I told you. TD Bank. Yeah, that's right. Just to confirm, sir. Okay. And how many credit cards do you have, sir? One. Only one credit card. And what is the respective limit of your credit card? Uh, I think it's 5000 5000 Okay. Do you deal with any IRA plan, like individual retirement account? No, I ain't got none of that shit. No problem. And in your TD Bank, sir, what type of account do you have? Is it a che checking account or is it a savings account? I got account? The double D savings. Double D savings? No yeah. checking account? I got a checking account too, but the savings account is a double D. That's that's almost double the best D. you can get as far as rates. The double D. I got it. Sir. Unless I you go up it, to an E, I but you got uh, E. I I don't think I've seen many E's. No problem, sir. Do you deal with any 401k plan? No, I ain't got none of that shit. I told you. No problem. And how much liquid cash do you have right now? Like as you have been charged against money laundering, I need to know how much liquid cash do you have? No, I'm not going to tell you that. So let me tell you. Mr. Lit, you are not allowed to keep any amount more than fifty dollars. Okay? Okay. I, just I got fifty dollars. You're right. I got fifty dollars. So you, this call is being recorded federally. Okay. So you need to tell me. Okay. Yeah, fifty dollars. You got fifty dollars. Fifty bucks. Are you sure? I'm positive. I got are fifty sure? bucks. I got two twenties and a ten. That adds up to fifty. Okay. Fifty no bucks. No problem. Sir. And as I can see, there are. Already 17 bank accounts registered under your name. No, I and told you, you I only got the two at Titty Bank. I told exactly. you, I only got the two exactly. at Titty Bank. Titty exactly. Bank. Titty Bank. Exactly. Oh, boy. Yeah, I got it. So okay. I need to know, like, I need to know what is the approximate balance in your account. I don't want your exact amount, okay? I repeat. This is recorded line, so I okay, don't you need your exact amount. Okay, no. I just need... Approximate Approximately, value. in my checking, I probably have 500. Uh huh. And in my double D's, I got probably 1,200. 1,200. I got it. Okay, Mr. Mike. Now everything is done over from my side. What okay. I'm gonna do? I'm gonna so we're all pass set? for this call. We're all set. I'm no, no. You're oh. not. You're not yet set. Oh no! I'm what I gotta do now? Call. I told you my accounts I'm and everything. We should be done. No, we are not done oh. because I am not the one who will going to verify your assets. I'm I don't have a lot of time. Account. How long is this going to oh. take there, Jake? I got stuff to do. Mr. Lit, you can just, Mr. Lit, you yeah. can see this 
case is very sensitive, okay? Someone well, is yeah, it's sensitive, your but I got stuff to do. So you don't need to be... Yeah, you got stuff to do. But yeah. if you get arrested at this stage or if you have any allegation at this stage of your life, sir, you need to neglect those work and you need to concentrate on this case, okay? I, I, so that's the only reason I'm going to... I'm going to transfer this call to the... I, I, I'm supposed office. to meet my friend down on a park bench. We watch the frilly panties run down there. Huh. What I'm, I'm, what I'm telling you, sir, okay. right now, I'm going to transfer this call. Okay, to hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Do it, do it so I can get going. I yeah, can get down to the park. Investigating okay. Who is in drug enforcement yeah. agent. Okay, let me talk okay, to him. And he will go... Put him on the phone! And he... Okay, just give me a quick moment, Okay. okay? Thanks for being online. This is Senior Chief Officer Bill O'Connor from Drug Senior Enforcement Chief. Administration. Senior Chief Bill. Whoa, 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 slow down there, Super Chief. Bill O'Connor. Okay, got it. How can I help you? How the hell do I know? He connected me to you. He said I had to talk to you. I don't know. You don't know what you got to do? How am I supposed to know? Said there Mike. Was, my, my thing was used in Mike. Texas and all Mike this other stuff. Mike. What? Are you Mike? Mike Litt, that's me. So Mike, there is a legal case against your I know all that for shit. drug trafficking I know and all money that. laundering. I know all that. And that is our I told I told Jake I gotta get going. And so let's get let's hurry up and get this over with. Huh? The warrant will release and in next thirty minutes you will be arrested. Rest so for do you what? have any question before I activate the warrant against you? Yeah, how can you have a warrant against me when I'm in New York and the thing happened in Texas? I, I, you got me confused here, uh, Bill. See, the local cops with the patrolling officer will be at your place to local arrest cops. you, okay? So don't worry. Well, I got to... How do I get out of this? Like, how do I cancel this shit? So, Mike, like, are you stating that on this recorded line that someone else... Yeah, that's what I'm saying for the third time. How many times have I got to say it on this recorded line? It's not me. Hello, Bill. You there? Hello, Bill. You there? O'Connor? Mr. O'Connor? Hello? The phone number is not reachable at this time. Ah, fuck. Department of Social Security Administration, how can I assist you? I was, I was speaking with Bill Connor. and we got this connected. With whom you were talking to? Bill O'Connor at the DEA. Okay, just be with me on the line. Okay. Hey, Vanda, Nagi, Nagi. Ye is se baat kar raha Dillon Kanner ko ne? DEA. Dillon. Social Security Administration, how can I assist you? Yes, I was talking to Bill O'Connor, and we got disconnected. Uh -huh. I talked to Jake Watson, and then I was talking, then he connected me to Bill O'Connor, and somehow we got disconnected. Okay, and I wanted to check the details of uh, why you are getting a call from our department. I already know and why. And what is the reason behind this call? Can I have your first name and your last name? Mike Litt. What? Mike Litt. L I T T. Am I Lent, right? Lit. L I T T. And what is the zip code? Your mailing address zip code? 13108. I've been out through all this with Jake Watson, and he connected okay, me to and Bill O'Connor. What is your address? Street address? 100 Main Street, Moravia, New York. 100 Main Street, right? That's what I said. Hold on, okay? Okay. Thank you for calling Social Security Administration Department. How can I help you? I don't know. I got a voice from to Call this number there, Sizzle. Okay. Okay. Did you receive any reference number or any case ID number? No, I did not. Okay. In this case, can you verify me your first and your last name? Yes. What is your first and your last name, sir? First name is Mike. And what is your last name, Mike? Litt. L-I-T-T. Mike Litt. Oh, I T Mike Light. Okay, give me a second. Okay. Okay, Mike. Yes. Can you verify me your zip code? 13118. 13118. Okay, That's give it. me a second. 
That's it. Okay, just hold the line. Let's, let me pull out your file. Okay, pull out my file. Go ahead. Hurry up. Okay. Got stuff to do here. So you're giving me a wrong information, sir. What the hell are you talking about? I know where I live. Carvin Ville. What? You're giving me a wrong information. You're giving me a wrong data. What kind of data? I don't I, what are you talking about? I live in I, Moravia, New I, York. I, I, no. The zip code is wrong, sir. 313118 three, one, is wrong. It's Moravia. It might show up Groton, but they're the same zip code. Can you verify me a zip code? 13118. It is the wrong zip code, sir. It is, it's my zip code. It's been my zip code for years. How can I have the wrong zip code? You're playing with me, sir. I'm not playing it's with you, you scamming bastard, you fuckface.